the item I'm holding right now is our component plus audio, stereo audio four four way splitter. The part number is R03 SPL 5RCA 104B. The this uh, the, the unit on the front side you'll see four outputs for UTP with UTP connections, RG45 connections. On the back end, you'll see a source input and a local output and power. Now, the source input is where, like I said, it comes from the source. And the local output is if you want to connect it to another mod, another display, or you want to cascade it to the, another unit. Now, so first thing, and for this, oh, for the UTP side, the output side, you'll be needing receivers. Now, we have four receivers to choose from. We have two wall plates. And they differ in the back. And one is RJ45, and one is punch down. And we have two box style versions. One is the straight box style with cables like that, and like that, and one is the pigtail style box where it has the cables attached to it. So all you do is connect it to display. Now, I have three monitors set up, and since we have four, I will not. I will not be demoing the the wall plate with the punch down. But it still will work with this. And with the three monitors, I'll be using these three cables. Now, for a component, it can go up to 1080p, and that will be 300 feet. However, my dis my source only comes out 1080i. So in that case, for 1080i, our max is 350, which these are the, the three cables are 350 feet, 350 feet. So first, I will be connecting to connect the splitter to the source and our splitter is actually colored, these are color coded so all it is can match up the colors and plug in the power so like you see right now now once you have that connected you can start plugging in the receiver units. So for this one, let me use the wall plate version. So first, take a cable, connect it to any input or output you want. I'll just choose three. Other end, connect to the back, the input of the receiver, and plug it to the TV. Now for these TVs, I already have component cables connected to them. And like I said, the wall plates are also colored, the receivers are also color coded. So all you do is match up the colors. And the first one you already start seeing coming on with sound. You can mute this. Now for the second one, I'll be using a box style. So, like before. Plug in the cables. And then connect it to the TV. Now for this, make sure your, your TV is also set to component. Like so. And right now it's muted, but let me mute this first. You can see, it comes out. Let me mute the back. Lastly, we'll connect the, I'll be using the pigtail style. I'll be connecting this TV. Okay, and let me connect the pigtails to the TV. And these are all color coded so you can match it up. Once you have that, you'll connect the cables. I'll just use using uh, I'll just say plug it into output one. Lastly, you connect the RJ45. And when you do, make sure like again, input is switched to the right input, component input. And here you go, you can hear sound coming up. Now you need this. Now, as you can see, I have all three connected using. One using a wall plate, 
with a J or J45 back connection. Another one using a box style, and third one is a pigtail style. All three works, and I mute these in sound. Do you hear the sound? Audio, stereo audio on each of these. We need to go by one, one by one. First one. Second one. Third one. Now, can you mute all these again? Now, as you, as you heard, audio is good. Now, video is good also. But let me bring up the information on both of these. As you can see, the 1080i. So, uh, since I said 1080i, I'm using actually use, these are 350 feet. Now, if I wanted to, the to just show you, let me disconnect, unplug one, and plug it into the fourth port, and you can say all ports come out the same. 